This is the plaintiff, Myrna Acosta. She says her new car was towed by the defendant, and they scratched the front and back bumpers. Her dealer told the tow company they used the wrong type of truck when they towed it. The defendant refuses to admit he made a mistake. That's why she's taking him to court for the $1,625 it's going to cost her in repairs. This is the defendant, Walter Maldonado. He says he's been in business for 27 years, always takes pictures of the vehicles he tows before he tows them, and has clear proof he did not cause these damages despite what the plaintiff claims. This one is just trying to get him to pay for damages she already had. He won't be taken advantage of by the likes of the plaintiff, and thinks the judge will side with him. He's accused of not towing the line. All parties, please raise your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff says the defendant towed her car and messed it up good. But the defendant says he didn't do it. It's the case of I'm the victim of a messy tow. Thank you, Douglas. Myrna Acosta, you are suing the defendant, Walter Maldonado's tow company. You've asked us not to mention the name of the company. Mm -hmm. And we'll respect that for $1,625. 120 of it, you want your, the, your cost of the tow reimbursed to you, 1000 and a few dollars, the cost of repairs for damages you say that they did, and $500 for pain and suffering. Okay, what happened? Um, I purchased the vehicle on 328.15. Um, it was on a Saturday, and I took my vehicle to my, car, to my apartment complex. And in the apartment complex, you need a, a sticker. And I wasn't able to get it. They were closed on the weekends. So I parked my car, and on Sunday, morning, my vehicle was Sunday night, turning to Monday morning, my vehicle was towed. I called 911, um, thinking that the vehicle was stolen. They informed me that the tow company had towed my vehicle. Okay, so do you have proof of the date of purchase of the car? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And the tow was in fact on? The 30th at? The 30th, you noticed it? Yes. So um, the tow happened when? On the 30th. On the 30th, wee hours? At about 4.55 in the morning. In the morning, yes. yes. So on 3.30, you tow the car, why? The, she was in, a, in the apartment complex that she lives is a residential decal. What that means is that the people who live there have to have a residential decal on their windshield when they park. I was, All right, so it gets towed, and you realize it's towed once you call the police, and then what happened? Because there's a system where the tow truck drivers, when they tow a car, have to report it to the police because those are the first people people are going to call thinking the car's stolen. And then what happened? I called the towing number that they gave me. I went ahead and called them, and I informed them. I said, that's my vehicle. You know, I need my vehicle and all that. And he says, we towed the vehicle because it was illegally parked. And I was like, I live there. And then they said, I yeah, have the sticker. Yeah, but you know sticker. you have to have the sticker. Yeah. Right, and then you, to give her a break on the tow, because she did live there, right. then instead of charging her 180, charge her 120, correct? That's correct. All right, you pick up the car, and there's a problem. And when do you notice the problem? Um, in the parking lot. Of? Of the towing company. All right, and what do you say or do? I go back to the office. Uh, there was another man working. It wasn't him. I, I didn't catch the guy's name. And I told him there's damage to the vehicle. And he says, oh, we got pictures. And I'm like, but the damage wasn't there. OK, what damage was there to the vehicle? Uh, the back bumper had a scratched. And then in the front, there was also a scrape on the front bumper. OK, I need to see pictures. That's the Who towed the car? One of my drivers, ma'am. But he's not here to testify? No, ma'am. Was the, the car itself wasn't new, right? It was 2014. But it wasn't new. If somebody had pre had owned it. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Take a look. Why are you suing for the cost of the tow? Because the car was damaged. Right. That's why you would sue for damage. Oh, okay. But why, like, they didn't I do was... anything wrong towing you. You were illegally parked. Yes. And in fact, they gave you a break on it. Um, what did you have to say about this? The, the one on the bumper is the one I know about. The other ones on the scratches there, I, I don't remember seeing those. But that's why I told her that we have the pictures to show her. Of okay. The pictures Let me see. The, did you ever show her the pictures? Yes, ma'am. You did? Yeah, All right. She saw, Let me when see she the came pictures. in and, and, and the man was at the shop, she showed it to him. 
And these are pictures that are taken when? Before the vehicle was picked up. So will I be able to see the area where she parked? Yes, I, there's one picture that, that we have to- It's in sight before you pick it up in yes, the tow truck. That we have to take a picture of where the vehicle is parked showing the building. But okay, we have to take a picture of to show the building. steps. What's your response to the pictures they took that show the scratches on um, there, Renny? I have pictures before that, at that that day before them, before they when towed. After, after, that Sunday? That, that Sunday, prior to them towing, I have pictures with date and actually time. I have pictures of the vehicle with no damage. And then I okay, also- Okay, let me see that because I want to see if you can actually see the damage. Because, you know, it's-, it's um, I mean, you gotta get pretty close, just like you did when you took this picture in order to see the damage. I don't know if you can see it from, and th this is a great idea to take pictures, and, but then the picture should show what you're trying to do with your idea, right? Correct. They should show the car parked on the property. Instead, your guy took a picture of the front of the building and then a picture of the scratches. Correct. And what is your position on when they took the picture? According to her, you took it after you damaged it, mm -hmm. you see? So this doesn't help you the way you intend for it to help you. You need to train your drivers. You want a picture, then take a step closer, take another picture and take a step closer so that you can see the wide shot and have a darn flash on your telephone. Sweetheart, come here. Okay, do tow truck companies generally uh, damage the cars they tow. What do you think? Generally not. They're most likely professionals. I, I imagine they're generally not damaging the trucks or cars when they're. You're a very reasonable guy. What does a lawyer think? I think a scratch here and there would be expected. I think. Is a scratch here and there tolerated when somebody? If they do it, is that just goes along with the ride? Yeah, I think so. so you can't sue for a scratch here and there. I don't think so. No. Interesting. Okay, going inside the courtroom. Your own pictures show it. You want to use this? I have it on the phone. and I'm, I'm telling you, look right there. The scratch that you're talking about is right there over that tailpipe. That is what you just showed me. I'm going to explain it to you. You see the sneaker? You see my, my, my sneaker, the shadow of it, white. I had to look at it also myself because that's a very big scratch for me to miss. See how it is? really on top and it's really big and that's the shadow to my white sneaker I opened it no, up as well I don't know that it is I could show you another what's up I mean there's something other than the scratch there no I'll okay. show you the scratch in there as well so you can open it up so you can look at it I don't want to see the scratch I want to see the absence of scratch in another picture okay I'll show it to you do you have the absence of scratch in another picture better picture because I'm seeing the shadow. I, I, well, I know. I'm seeing what looks like the scratch, and you're telling me, ah, oh, that's just shadow. Don't, don't, who are you going to believe, no, me no, or your no. lying eyes? Now I need you to show me a picture that shows absence of scratch better than this one does. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I have a dealer How picture. How would they do this damage to such specific little parts of your car by towing it? I think when they pulled it, they used the wrong truck. And I don't know what you're saying. You're just making these global... You see that one right there? The yeah. scratch? Yeah. See how it's the pulling? What, where's the scratch? Show me right where here. I'm... No, but show me on the picture where I'm supposed to be looking. Right here. Exactly where. Right Exactly. Here. Touch it. Right I'm there. I'm supposed to be looking there. Yes. Look at it right here. Okay. Because I was looking here, and that's, I guess, reflection. No. So it's right underneath there. Like, the kind of scratches I have in my car from getting just a little too close <laughs> to those uh, parking bump... Parking... Yeah, but this one Concrete. is pulled out. If you look at it on the phone, the paint is like scraped out. Like they scraped the sidewalk. Oh, that's an excellent picture. Like they scraped the sidewalk. Well, either that or you scraped one of those things. Yes, ma'am. It could have been. Great. Because how did, how did you tow this? Well, we don't know. You don't know because you weren't there. But how was this tow done? How did someone tell you the tow was done? It's a front wheel drive car. When it's in front of the buildings like that, we have to put go jacks in the front wheel. Go jacks go around the wheel. They pick the front wheels up. You push the car back to get it in the position so the, the, the wheel lift can come underneath and pick it up. So basically what, what's picked up are, are the two front wheels. And then you push the car back because it's front wheel drive. That means the back wheels will spin. And you push it back, and then you move it over to the side where you can bring the wheel so lift the up. So the go jacks are just like two jacks that Correct. you put on either side. Yes, ma'am. So how this is a car going over... 
the thing and then coming back. I, I know this because I do this <laughs> with alarming like regularity. So, uh, I, and I have a low car. Um, that's what that is. I mean, I, how would he have done this over the tailpipe? Yeah, I think that was with the back, with the flat, as they were pulling it up. They how? They scratched it. How? I've never told the car. I don't Do know. You, uh, right. And, but how, how is it that the back is the, handled? The, the back doesn't get touched when it's the front wheel drive and you push it out. You're picking the car up through the front. Go ahead and go back. Here, let me, let me give you your phone. So here's what we have. We have you... Parking illegally in the sense that, and I understand why, but then you shouldn't park illegally. Get the permit for it before, you knew, it wasn't a surprise you were gonna buy a car. I imagine you knew you were gonna buy a car, so get it while the office is open, or just don't park illegally. You know, there's always a reason why somebody parks illegally. They're in a rush, whatever it is. All right, that's over. Pain and suffering is for injury kind of cases, not for damage stressed, to a car. Yeah. I, I know, we're all stressed. Every time everybody comes <laughs> in, we say, I get stressed just listening to you guys. All right, so really what we're talking about is the repair. And your break, it breaks my heart to see you so happy in these pictures. You just bought your car, you pick it up, and you're so happy and everything else, and that's awesome. But here's where my problem lies. The only picture you have above the tailpipe has a white mark exactly like the damage. And you're telling me, well, no, that damage wasn't there. Um, that's just a reflection of my sneaker. And then when I ask you, well, show me one where I don't see that, you can't. All right, um, on the car itself, in the front, you show me a picture that you took before they towed you, and there actually appears to be something white there too. But this is a, the picture on your, on your phone, and here is a much better, closer picture taken from way down where you can see that somebody hit one of those parking things. Because um, it's exactly that action of going back and forth that causes those, those little ripples there. There's nothing in the tow process that would have caused that. Alarmingly, there's actually a white mark there too. Did you see that? No, ma'am. I gotta tell you, um, as much as uh, what happened here breaks my heart for you, um, I can't really say, hey, it's all your fault, unless I have proof that it's all their fault. And based on, um, you know, the guy takes a picture of the front of the building, takes a picture of where he sees scratches, and it's, um, you know, between that, the fact that your pictures kind of show damage, and the way the tow happens, I am not going to order them to pay for the tow. My verdict in this case is for the defendant. Good luck. Thank you, ma'am. Let's see what the plaintiff has to say coming out of the courtroom here. On the losing end of Judge Millian's decision, what, what's your feeling on the outcome? It is the outcome. what it is. It's nothing I could do. What is what it is? The damage wasn't there, and he says the damage was there. There's nothing I could do about it. The judge made her ruling. I heard that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. All right, so um, you, you almost have your um, technique down, but you have to make a few minor adjustments. Yeah, I do. She was right about moving the pictures back and walking toward them, but I'm mm -hmm. glad she saw that we didn't do the damages. Mm -hmm. how, how often do you have to protect yourself in court against such claims? Not much. Um, few times in the last 30 years. Um, the pictures don't lie. So mm -hmm. we've been doing the pictures for the last 25 years, and that helps us a lot. All right, you're going to take that first picture that shows the car in place, in position before the tow begins, right? Correct. The long view. Correct, All because right. we have to show where the car is before we pick it up. Okay, Thank Harvey. You, sir. Okay, as you can see from what happened to the plaintiff, the photos killed her. Uh, you need to scrutinize the photos that you prevent, present to the judge to make sure they show what you want them to.